friends, it's Brian, and today's video is going to be a little bit different review. It is about an AirSense Mini. It's a travel CPAP machine. I'm fat and old, and yeah, I, I use a uh, CPAP. So this has been my CPAP for a long time. It's a little bit scrungy on the outside, but I maintain it periodically. It is a ResSmart Auto, what, is, what does it say it is? Yeah, it's just a ResSmart Auto by 3B Medical. It's been a great machine, but it's a lot bulky for traveling. So I decided to splurge and buy myself an, a ResMed Air Mini. And this is it. So it comes with a big book. It comes with a, I guess that's a case or a bag. I don't know, we'll explore that in a minute. And you know, that's my whole tra travel CPAP machine. So we went from this to this, which is really cool. And it has Bluetooth interface. It uses a funky cable, so I had to invest in some more stuff. It comes with a little tiny uh, power cord. Now, I don't understand why they can't just move to USB-C on this stuff, but it is what it is. So that's our card. It, it'll plug in here. Let's see if it locks. No, it doesn't lock, but you know, I mean, this is really tiny. I, I could use this in any number of places. I wonder what that does. No, I'm not going to read the manual. Um, so I, I feel like, you know, and then there's a little filter here probably. Okay, maybe I'll read the label later. Read the manual later. That's that's that. I mean, it was kind of expensive. It was it was like thirteen hundred dollars properly set up, and I feel bad about that. But you know, this is this is like I can't sleep without this. So I went ahead and bought the. Um, so this is their setup pack. Let's see what's in here. And some instructions and a little special hose and a Humidex F twenty which is something I will use on this trip. More instructions. You see I'm diligently reading them. I mean, recycling them. And um, I did decide to buy a AirFit full face mask. I use a, I use a, a Fisher KKL mask currently. And, um, but again, I just, I wanted something that was small for traveling. And uh, it looks like they forgot to send me the case. Maybe I didn't order it. I thought I did. So I did buy a travel battery. Um, let's see how this looks. Wow, this thing is huge. So I bought a travel battery and it, it, it weighs a good few pounds. Um, yeah, it weighs a good two pounds, but I felt like, you know, this is something I really needed in order to use my CPAP machine on the go. So, uh, you know, this will plug in here and then this will power my CPAP machine for the, for, it should have enough capacity for a couple nights. Um, or if I'm on a plane and I want to take a nap, there you have it. Now tell me they didn't do what I think they did. Okay, so they just gave me a USB wall charger. And that's nice, but I'm going to substitute my own wall charger. Let's see if we can read this. Output, uh, 27 watts. Wow, that'll take two-thirds of forever to charge. So, but, you know, and, and the, this, this was, you know, 20, 30 bucks. So, I mean, it is what it is, but I, I, you know, I want to pack all that in here. And that's where we're headed. So I'll be right back. I'm going to get rid of this. Set that over there, and let's see what the mask looks like. Um, the documentation was really kind of spotty on these masks, so uh, let me go check and make sure I've got the right size. I'll be right back. The way you do this is you just hold the card and you put this in the bridge of your nose, and then you read this, and I still come out as a medium. So I'm in the right size. That's what I am in Fisher and Paykel. And, and then this is nice. It just snaps together. You know, we're talking about real. I mean, you know, again, it's supposed to be small. It's a travel CPAP. So let me get rid of some 
stuff here. I'll be right back. So it fits really nice, and this has a magnetic feature, so you literally snap that on there and it fits really good. So then this has box together. Uh, I'll probably have to look at the instructions on this. So let me, let me put my glasses back on and figure this piece out. I'll be sleeping on this tonight because I honestly I need to know how it works. and read the instructions. So that's the back for that. Those are extras. This is the one that we'll use for this trip. Supposedly it's good for 30 days once it's opened. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm going to read the instructions. I'm not going to make you watch me do that. Okay, so the humidity unit goes in here. Got even. Maybe it goes inside. It does go inside and it's got a left and a right on it and it just goes in here and supposedly it clicks in place. There it goes. So that's actually kind of nice. It just clicks in and then get rid of my glasses. These just pop in, and this is nice, it's magnetic. And then this will go up in here. But I still don't have that connect, so I've got to read the instructions on that. Let me let me work that part out. So this is pretty slick. This is a universal hose adapter for that um, mask. So this will fit with my other CPAP machine or any normal CPAP machine, and then you just disconnect this by squeezing on it um, and the swivels built into the mask so once it's in here it swivels and up and down and, um, it may not leak as much as my current Fisher Paykel so I might be buying another one of these and then that just goes on there so let's see how this breathes Started when I put it on. And I'm just simulating not breathing. It's silent. That's amazing. I'm super stoked about this. This is going to be one of the best things I've bought in a long time. Um, so let me uh, let me see how it packs because that's the next question. All right. So again, let's see how it packs. So you unplug that, and then let's see. So you push on these, and it just pops apart, nice and simple and clean. So the mask is bigger, and of course the battery pack is. It would have been nice if that flipped. I mean, again, I don't know why it needs to be 
it's the ha almost the size of the damn machine. Uh, this is impressive. And on off. This is a 145 watt hour uh, battery. So I want to go see if it, it'll plug into one of my USB-C chargers and see if it behaves on that. So it works just fine on my USB-C charger. Um, so one of, the, one of my other projects is to reduce the amount of electronic clutter that I bring with me when I go on a trip. So um, anyway, let's continue trying to see how this packs. So we've got a little go bag. Actually, I think this is going to be just fine for this whole machine. So we'll throw that in there, we'll throw this in here, and then we will gently wind this up, but we're going to disconnect it because I think it'll make it. No, I don't want any junk in there, so we're just going to fall it up and stuff it in here and see what happens. This could be better. It really could. But I think we can get this all stuffed in here. And again, you know, I'm just I'm trying to get down to the point where I can pack for a trip um, in peace. Yeah, that looks nice. All right, so let's bring the bag over and see how this goes. So what I have in mind is that this will live in here. And it will. Oh, that's awesome. And I think I can even get my pill case in there. So, we'll save this. Uh, that's going to recycle. That's going to recycle. Let me go get the battery real quick and see how that packs. So we're going to just put it in its little um, case here. And then we're going to see if we can slip this in back here. We can. And let's see if we can get this in here. I mean, it's getting a little cozy. God knows what TSA is going to do when I go through there, but uh, that's nice. I've got a little bit of space up here, and I think I can get some battery chargers in. I don't plan to take this battery charger with me. Um, I'm going to keep it for something else because I, I, I'll show you what I got. So for traveling, I've got um, a my charge battery. This is a little bit on the big side. But this has USB-C output as well as regular output. And then I have a little tiny Belkin charger. And this thing is just cool as cool as, as forever. And uh, you've got to kind of dink with it to get it to open. But then once it opens, it's just a magnetic charger. And it'll, it'll actually double as a stand. Um, so, you know, you can, you can have it there. Uh, how did I have this? There we go. So anyway, I mean, you know, you can set this down here, and then when you put your phone on it, you know, the phone just starts charging automatically. It's It's got MagSafe, so this is going to keep my phone charged when I travel. This is a little big, so it's going to go down in here, and then this can go up in here. Let me go get my charger. So I'm using a uh, Amazon Basics charger, and this will charge my battery packs for both the CPAP and this is my backup battery pack. It'll it'll charge my CPAP. That's officially its excuse for being there. It'll also charge my laptop, and then this is just an Amazon Basics, and it puts out uh, um, 60 watts on one and 18 watts on the other. So it'll and it just you know packs in here nicely and then I've got a standard USB-C cable that I will just ball up and this is not really good for them but it'll it'll fit in here just fine and so now I've got all my gear in here and I really would like a better place for that let me see if I can do this Yeah, there we go. So now I've got a nice, a nice compact solution that contains my camera gear, my CPAP gear. You know, these are my critical essentials, and that pack weighs 18 pounds. So I'm feeling good about that. Um, let me 
see if I can, I've got one more divider left over. Okay, so I can put this to use. So I'm going to set that like that. And then these things can just drop right into that spot. And that leaves me another little, you know, so you see I've got my camera, lens, 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 chargers, and uh, travel charger for my phone. I've got a you know battery pack keyboard um, and actually I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn this around and that's a Bluetooth keyboard for my surface which is really what I recommend along with that mouse is a Bluetooth mouse so this gives me a nice compact travel setup uh, let me show you what I was traveling with it used to be my travel charger along with a Belkin um, device and this is just so much more simpler so we went from this to one of these and that's just fantastic. I need a USB C. So I'm gonna pack an extra charger just in case I need it. Uh, and again, it'll just fit right in there, so it's no big deal. I gotta look for another USB C cable.